Manchester, engineering announcements for the radio and television trade. Welcome to the IBA's weekly roundup of news and information for the radio and television trade. High Definition Television. Pat Hawker and Paul Kopel look at developments shown in Brighton at the recent International Broadcasting Convention. In transmission news, the latest relays to carry Channel 4, and in Wales, one new relay, Anis Pennell. But first, what are the prospects for high definition television? Pat Hawker. Well, it's certainly been coming a long way and attracting a lot of interest. I first saw a demonstration of the Japanese NHK standard two years ago at Brighton, but this one this year had done a great deal of improvement. They have developed a really magnificent projection um, display system, so sort of six foot wide screen and looking almost like um, a painting 35 millimeter film standard. But quite honestly, I'm very happy with the picture I get at home, and I'm sure most people are. I mean, is there a market for this? It sounds like it would be very expensive. There are many snags, and to some extent, I suppose one could think of it almost as an engineer's pipe dream. But nevertheless, you, you've, you've got this improvement, the idea of a wide screen, the, the better aspect ratio. Um, they're talking about sort of five to three instead of our existing four to three. So you're going into the sort of cinema widescreen thing. You can also, of course, sit closer to it so you get much more of an impact of the programme. There's also, on uh, the 60 hertz systems, complete absence of flicker that is an annoying feature on European television. Now, if I had the money, could I walk into a shop tomorrow and buy a high-definition set? Or? You certainly couldn't buy a high-definition television broadcast receiver. It's got to the stage now, I think, where... Um, at least one of the Japanese firms would be prepared to sell you a, a high definition video system, a complete sort of closed circuit. And it's there that you start getting into what the major problems are, the major problem of the extra bandwidth you need to, to broadcast um, high definition. Is there a European equivalent? Well, at the moment, the, the BBC are working on a, a system which would have about 1,250 lines rather than 1,125 and would, in fact, eventually have something like an 80 hertz field rate so you would get uh, an absolutely steady picture. At the moment, they're not in the same situation of demonstrating the complete system, but they were showing down at Brighton a quarter picture on a, on a standard receiver to show what the extra resolution would look like. And again, it was very striking. You could see much more detail in the picture and you could get very close to it before you started seeing any sort of line structure. Could you give a guess about when it might become available to the public? Well, on broadcast, I don't know. I can't really see how it could happen. Now, we have, a, we have an alternative approach, which is not exactly high-definition television, but what we call extended-definition television, which will be possible with the Mac system on satellites. And we believe that we can get a, a, a much better uh, enhanced picture um, through the satellite without needing any extra bandwidth. Some very ingenious digital processing involved in that, even that's not going to happen for a few years. And one of the reasons is is that the domestic receiver, the, the display system, just really won't cope with these extra lines. We do need, first and foremost, a new form of display system because projection systems of the type that um, the Japanese were showing really would be far, far too expensive for the domestic viewer. Pat Hawker talking with Paul Coppell. Transmission news now, starting with special announcements. In Scotland, Darris continues on reduced power. The new aerial system has arrived on site and testing begins shortly. In Derbyshire, Buxton is off today between 9 and 4 because of work by the electricity board. For the same reason in the borders, on Thursday the relay at Lauder will be off between 2 and 4. And next Monday the relay at Great Missenden will be off between 9 and midday. New relays now starting in Wales to the northeast of Aberystwyth where Annis Pennell is now in service. The relay extends coverage to more than 200 people. 
in the area between Dovey Junction and Asgabori Coed. HTV Wales and TVAM are on channel 41, with S4C on 47. Group B aerials are needed vertically polarised. Annie's panel is now in full service. And another four relays are hoped to be on the air by the end of the month. Near Dorchester, Piddle Trentide. TVS and TVAM will be on channel 49, with channel 4 on 42. The aerial is Group B, vertically polarised. Also in Dorset, Winterbourne, Steepleton. The channel for TVS and TVAM is 45 and 66 for channel 4. Here, Group E or wideband aerials should be used. The polarisation is vertical. In Derbyshire, Dronfield, Yorkshire Television and TVAM will be on 59, with channel 4 on 65. The aerial group is CD, but the polarisation here is horizontal. In Wales, near Llan Rydery Mochnant, Llan Gunnog. HTV Wales and TVAM will be on 65 and S4C on 59. Group CD aerials will be needed vertically polarised. Channel 4 next and conversion work at existing stations. In the borders, transmissions from Gala Shields on Channel 47 began last week. The relay covers a population of 2,500 and the official service date is October the 19th. Several relays open later this week, including Guildford in Surrey. This covers 19,000 people and the channel here is 50. In Dumfries and Galloway, Langholm on channel 53 is hoped to be on the air in a few days' time. The population coverage here is 2,500. In Scotland, near Abbeymore, Grantown on channel 47, serving a population of 3,500. Independent local radio begins shortly in Rygate and Crawley. Radio Mercury is already on the air with trade transmissions. The VHF transmitter shares the local television relay site broadcasting in stereo on 103.6 MHz. The medium wave transmissions are on 1521 kHz, that's 197 meters. The total population coverage is about half a million, including Rygate, Crawley, Dorking and Horsham. Daytime medium wave coverage extends to Caterham and East Grinstead. Radio Mercury begins programmes on October the 20th. We leave you with our address for reception problems or technical queries. Engineering Information Service, Independent Broadcasting Authority, Crawley Court, Winchester, Hampshire, SO 2122QA. Our telephone number is Winchester, STD code 0962 822444. Join us again next Tuesday at 9.15 and 12.15. From Murray Nicholson and myself, Bruce Randall, goodbye from Crawley Court.